And I love vlogging. It's, it's cool to, to vlog with you guys and hang out. It's a fun thing. Uh, thanks for vlogging. That's why we're here. And I, it's like, I never thought I'd be a vlogger. I just thought it was like this, uh, like this weird thing, like weird people do. Like I thought vlogging was just for opinionated nerds who like desperately need approval and stay up all night writing and getting pizza stains under pajama pants. And no, but like after doing it for a few years, I realized that's exactly what it is. <laughs> We're nerds and we need attention. We really do. Please love us. Please love us. I, uh, when I wake up, I have about 10 likes on my post. I'm like throwing my coffee table against the wall. Like, what the hell? How am I supposed to live? I have five likes. I call my mom and start yelling. She's like, what's the like? I'm like, shut up, you don't love me. I don't really talk about it. My mom, she's on Facebook too. We're just not friends. <laughs> and I always do want more for my blog. I always want more traffic. I always want, want more people going to it. Like, so this is uh, actually kind of new. This is a special announcement. I'm actually thinking of changing the name to my blog. Just get like more traffic. So my entertainment blog, uh, Class X Entertainment, I'm changing it to my silly baby has a goatee and loves kittens. <laughs> and that's going to do really well. I just, uh, it's going to do really well. My Blackhawk blog, Hawk Crazy, I'm going to change that to Urban Dominatrix. I think that's the one. <laughs> they both just got billions of hits when I just said their names. They're uh, playing really well. One thing I'll say is one of the reasons I love Chicago now so much and like all the cool things we do together is because everyone at Blog for is such like a positive person. Everyone loves Chicago and loves the news. And do you clap? Don't we to clap at nice things? <laughs> I mean, there's really cool people that write for it, and I become friends with a lot of them, they're great, and that's good, because a lot of my friends are like negative people, so I kind of need those positive people in my life. But I have one friend, he's such a miserable guy, like one time I talked to him, I was like, hey man, how's it going? He goes, awful. <laughs> he goes, my internet is out, so I have to go to Starbucks to use the internet like a homeless person. <laughs> People go to Starbucks to use the internet. Because <laughs> all people don't have laptop computers. <laughs> There's an homeless guy holding a sign that says, Please help, need wireless. <laughs> they ask you for change, not to log into LinkedIn. <laughs> they got me baby, like, what if homeless people did need to use the internet, like, for on the internet? And what website do they go to? Homelesssingles.com? <laughs> I like to see one of those profiles. My name is Patches. I like long walk walks down the alley and I'm a Scorpio. <laughs> we don't have to I love the homeless people in Chicago too. They're like, if you go, you go like either way, you're like, are you a friendly one? No, you're going to kill me. All right. Let's get some space. Let's go. All right. <laughs> They're crazy homeless people here. I went to, uh, I did some shows in LA uh, in the summer, not to brag, they're in gas stations. And, uh, <laughs> no, they're in clubs. But I was, in, I was in LA doing comedy, and, and as, soon as, as soon as I got there, the first thing I noticed is that the homeless people in LA are way different than the homeless people in Chicago. Yeah. They are. The homeless people in LA are super tan. <laughs> they are. They're really tan. This one guy was like, can I have some change? I'm like, can I have your bronzer? You are handsome. <laughs> Like a homeless Mark Anthony. <laughs> Very good looking man. Thank you guys got a lot of thought I can get any longer. Thanks to Jimmy.